Venus, often dubbed as Earth's twin, hides a multitude of secrets beneath its thick, swirling clouds. This second planet from the Sun, with its rocky terrain and infernal temperatures, has always sparked curiosity and fascination. Yet its dense atmosphere, composed primarily of carbon dioxide with traces of nitrogen, poses significant challenges in studying the planet. This veil of gas and clouds shrouds Venus in mystery, making it a source of endless intrigue for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. From its peculiar retrograde rotation to the unexplained dark streaks known as unknown absorbers, Venus seems to relish in its enigmatic persona. These features, while intriguing, are merely the tip of the iceberg. Venus is home to other, more mysterious phenomena that we're only beginning to understand. Among these mysteries, one of the most fascinating is the occurrence of lightning, a phenomenon more common on Venus than on Earth. For decades, scientists have speculated about the existence of lightning on Venus, but it wasn't until the 21st century that substantial evidence was found. Our journey begins in the 1970s, an era marked by bold exploration and groundbreaking discoveries. Amidst all the astronomical wonders being uncovered, there was a particular spark of curiosity about our neighboring planet, Venus. Even back then, scientists had inklings that something electric was happening in Venus's thick, cloud-covered atmosphere. As we ventured further into space, our tools for exploration evolved. In 1978, we sent the Pioneer Venus Orbiter on a mission to study Venus's atmosphere. This spacecraft was equipped with a plasma wave detector, a device designed to pick up electric and magnetic fields. It was during this mission that we first detected what's known as Whistler waves on Venus. Now you may be wondering, what on Earth are Whistler waves? Well, the term isn't far off as we first discovered these waves right here on our home planet. Whistler waves are a type of radio wave that on Earth is caused by lightning. When a lightning bolt strikes, it creates a path of ionized air that can guide radio waves. These guided waves can take a spiraling path around the Earth's magnetic field lines, changing in frequency as they travel. This creates a descending tone that sounds much like a whistle, hence the name. So, when we detected these Whistler waves on Venus, it was a tantalizing clue. Could it be that these waves were being caused by Venusian lightning? The idea was electrifying, but the evidence was not conclusive. It was a hint, a spark in the dark, but not a definitive confirmation. At this stage, the mystery of Venusian lightning was like a puzzle with missing pieces. We had tantalizing hints, but not the complete picture. It was clear that we needed more advanced technology to delve deeper into Venus's veiled secrets. Despite these early indications, it took many more years and advanced technology to confirm the existence of lightning on Venus. The breakthrough came in 2007 with the help of the Venus Express spacecraft. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the Venus Express. It was a mission by the European Space Agency, launched in November 2005, that journeyed to our veiled neighbor with the purpose of studying its atmosphere and climate. This spacecraft was equipped with an array of scientific instruments designed to probe and analyze the Venusian environment from its lofty orbit. On its mission, the Venus Express collected a wealth of data, but among its most striking discoveries was the confirmation of lightning on Venus. This was not a simple task. Venus is enveloped in thick, opaque clouds that make direct observation of its surface near impossible. Still, the Venus Express was able to detect the electromagnetic signatures of lightning even through the dense cloud cover. How, you may ask? Well, the spacecraft carried an instrument called the magnetometer, which could pick up changes in the magnetic field caused by electrical activity. As it orbited Venus, the magnetometer detected regular spikes in electrical activity, a phenomenon consistent with lightning. But the Venus Express didn't stop there. It also captured images of Venus using ultraviolet and infrared sensors. These images revealed bright flashes on the planet's night side, again consistent with lightning. The flashes were short-lived, intense, and occurred more frequently than similar events on Earth. What's more, the lightning on Venus appeared to be concentrated in certain regions, suggesting that it was associated with weather patterns and atmospheric conditions. This was a vital clue in understanding the complex climatic and geological processes at work on Venus. In essence, the Venus Express mission, with its suite of advanced instruments, was able to confirm what had long been suspected, that lightning does indeed occur on Venus, and it's more common there than on Earth. With this confirmation, 
Venus joined the ranks of other celestial bodies where lightning has been observed, including Earth, Jupiter, and Saturn. But why is the discovery of lightning on Venus so significant? Well, this discovery holds profound implications for our understanding of Venus, its atmospheric conditions, and its weather patterns. Lightning, you see, isn't just an electrifying spectacle. It's a powerful natural phenomenon that reveals crucial information about the environment in which it occurs. On Earth, lightning is a product of the dynamic interaction between water, air, and electrical charges in our atmosphere. It's a fundamental part of our planet's weather system. By contrast, Venus, our veiled neighbor, doesn't have water in the same sense. Its atmosphere is primarily composed of carbon dioxide with traces of nitrogen and sulfuric acid. Hence, the existence of lightning on Venus implies a different mechanism at work. It suggests that Venus has its own unique atmospheric dynamics that can generate the conditions necessary for lightning to occur. This discovery also opens up new avenues for understanding Venus's weather patterns. The occurrence of lightning is typically associated with turbulent weather conditions. On Earth, it's a signal of stormy weather. On Venus, it could be a sign of intense atmospheric activity or even volcanic eruptions. It's like having a natural weather station in the sky, providing us with valuable data about the planet's atmospheric conditions. But the significance of this discovery extends beyond Venus. It helps us broaden our understanding of atmospheric phenomena in the universe. By studying lightning on Venus, we can gain insights into how similar processes might occur on other planets, even those outside our solar system. It's an exciting prospect shedding light on the diverse and complex ways in which different planets operate. Lightning on Venus is more than just a striking spectacle. It's a key to unlocking the mysteries of our veiled neighbor and potentially other planets as well. It underscores the importance of continued space exploration and research. As we venture further into the cosmos, we're continually reminded that the universe is full of surprises, each one enriching our understanding of the world beyond our own. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Venus, each discovery brings us one step closer to understanding the complex and diverse universe in which we live.